Ikram, the perception, the perception like very much like during the Rafal campaign in 2019 is that there is a lot of innuendo and no substance. There is no, you know, quote-unquote smoking gun or money trail to link any of the allegations that are being wildly thrown about. Yes, there is a Hindenburg report. It is a, it is a company that has its own demons in the United States. That's a separate issue. But... Their action has been taken here. The RBI has taken action. The, the Security and Exchange Board of India are monitoring things at this point of time. But the Congress appears to be hell-bent on establishing some link between Narendra Modi and Gautam Adani. And you're saying establish a joint, uh, uh, you know, joint parliamentary committee investigation for that. The government is simply saying, we can't do that because we deny it completely. Go to a court and if a court says you have to have this kind of investigation, they'll do it. What's wrong with that? Shiv, you are such a senior journalist. Tell me once in our history where the court has directed parliament to have a JPC. Not a JPC. It doesn't need to be a JPC. No, they can, they can order a court monitor. So you said, now go to court and they will say that parliament is a sacrosanct institution, which is an institution in itself, and even Supreme Court cannot dictate terms to it. So it is a completely fallacious argument that you go to the court and the court will direct for a JPC. Now, what is a JPC? A JPC is that parliamentarians who are answerable to the people, they get together and they are mm. also BJP will have a majority because they but, are the majority. But, but Ikram, the government is saying there is not enough substance to what you are saying. They are saying this is innuendo. It sounds like political frustration by Rahul Gandhi like during the Rafal thing. And therefore it is not substantial enough to establish a JPC is what they are saying. They are saying it is, born, it is born from frustration rather than facts is, is what Shev. the government says. Shiv, I'll give you a correcting analogy and you'll get it. Hmm. The government is the batsman. It has been hit plumb in front of the wicket. And the government has the power hmm. whether it can go for a TV review. And the government says, no, there is nothing. There's no uh, substance in this appeal. Therefore, I'm not out. Okay. That is how the thing is working out. If you are not plumb in front of the wicket, Go for the not, rest. Not kind if, of not if everything is Sa right, Syed, Syed, okay. since a cricketing, since a cricketing analogy has been used, Syed, answer that. Because the people, the, the Congress will continue to ask it in that way, which is that, is it, what do you have to hide? It, Why are you saying no to a JPC is a is question that will be repeatedly asked and now it's being asked after Amit Shah's interview as well. Syed. See, it's a very weak argument. You have to understand the intent and the motive of the opposition. Opposition doesn't want to discuss anything. This GP, JPC is also something they, they, it is only for disrupting the parliament. Mm. If a JPC will happen, then they will pick up something else. So their intention is, you have to understand that their intention is not uh, a good. Their intention is to only to disrupt the parliament and no business needs to be transacted. That is something which they want to do. They want to paralyze the, uh, the democratically elected uh, representatives, hmm. uh, uh, whatever their re responsibility is there to discharge as a parliamentary, they want to they, they paralyze the entire process. Okay. Which is, so which that, is very unfair on the part so of So that means it comes down to a trust deficit then. Especially the Congress party because Congress party is behave. Uh, secondly, secondly, what is more important, they do not trust the government. They do not trust their own people, uh, but they, would, they will always trust something which, is, which has appeared in, in global times, which has appeared in New York Times, which has appeared in Hedderberg report. And what nonsense. Okay. This is a regulatory authority, regulatory bodies, they are doing their job. They, okay. they, they take cognizance of all such things and they act swiftly without any interference from, interference from the government. So you, you must uh, uh, understand that there are institutions which have been set to, as a regulatory body, to look after and, and uh, act upon immediately. And even that assurance has come from the Okay, okay. that all the regulators which are which need to examine this subject are being are being done by them so, the, so what the, is so the process what is the uh, problem with them they so do the, not want to address trust their own government does not want Ikram, to Ikram, the allegation is, but they want to trust a small i think member, i think most uh, people who have been uh, watching uh, parliamentary uh, proceedings that this entire they will trust can that. see that this is about a trust deficit at the end of the day, no matter where this springs from, whether it springs from the right impulses or not, the trust deficit between your party and the ruling party right now is at an all-time low. And therefore, they don't believe that you have any standing to demand a JPC. Well, they can say that. You know, that is the only thing this government can do. Now, I'll just raise three points here. 
Zafar Bhai has said that a foreign uh, agency, Hindenburg, has raised this issue. Therefore, there is no loci standing for anybody to raise that issue here. Hmm. I will take Mr. Zafar Iqbal 35 years back. Islam, yeah. Who raised the Bofors issue? It was the Swedish radio which for the first time broadcasted it. Hmm. Did Mr. Rajiv Gandhi or anybody in Congress at that time say that Swedish radio is a Bahar ki organization? Hai. Why should any action be taken on that? Uh, JPC was set up and the Supreme Court has exonerated everybody in that case. But our Prime Minister still talks about Bofors in the uh, parliament when in 2012 the final nail in that lie was stuck when the Supreme Court finally said that no kickbacks was paid and there was no wrongdoings in Bofors. 